Alright you guys, so I just checked in to the Alex Johnson. I am in the ghost room and Shana will be joining me in a couple of hours. I have about two hours till she joins me. So yeah, I'm in this room and it's like, it's a lot smaller than I expected. And like the guy was being really like goofy at the desk. I don't know, like he kept saying like, well have fun with your ghost package, like in your ghost room. It's like, dude, really? <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's the light. Okay, these lights are kind of ridiculously sad. Like, they're not bright at all. Huh? So, yeah. They even, so as part of the ghost adventure package, they gave us this K2 meter, which if you know, it's an EMF detector, an EMF meter, so, I don't know exactly how it's supposed to work, but it's on green right now. You have to hold this thing down to make it work. Um, and apparently, oh, okay, never mind. So turn it on, give it a flash, and then, wow, it's really dark. <laughs> and then, supposedly, it's supposed to light up if there's ghosts. So, we're gonna turn that off for now, and so yeah, Shane and I are gonna do like our own little mini lockdown in this hotel room. We're gonna spend the night. So I'm really excited. Hopefully we catch something. Hopefully we have an experience that would be so cool. So yeah, these lights are really pathetic. So yeah, let me, sh I'll show you like, so, so there's the door. And like, I'll show you out in the hallway real quick. It's kind of a weird hallway setup. Like. I don't know, we're like back in this like weird little corner. And so this is kind of creepy because there's this door here with a mirror on it and a keyhole. Let's turn the bathroom light on. Bathroom's kind of neat. The bathroom has good lighting. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like this creepy old school closet. Like, really old school closet. And then, yeah, here's the room. Like I said, it's not very big. Like, it's actually a little kind of cramped. So, thankfully Shayna and I are comfortable with each other. So, I like this mirror though. This mirror is cool. So, this is how all found footage movies start. I just want to say that right now. So, this was kind of sucky. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Let's see. K2 meter. So, this was kind of sucky. But, I when I... Oh my god, this lighting is so bad. Um, so when I went to um, get packed for today, I realized my digital recorder is nowhere to be found. And I swear to God, this happens every time I try to do something like this. Something goes wrong or I lose something. Um, so I had to go to Walmart today and buy a new digital recorder. So I am not enthused. I had to drop 40 bucks for this when I know tomorrow I'm gonna go home and find my digital recorder even though it was nowhere to be found today. So, I'm going to, oh, whoops, go ahead and turn my digital recorder on and set it down, down, so I am no longer touching it. Um, I kinda of wanted to talk about what happened uh, two nights ago. So I have been getting ready all week for this trip to come stay in this hotel in this room and I have been so excited and I have had nothing but excitement for this night. Two nights ago I went to bed and of course I had to work at four in the morning get up at three so I went to bed before Matt. So I was laying in our room and I was laying in our bed trying to sleep and I don't ever have trouble falling asleep. I don't have trouble with the dark nothing but that night for some reason two nights ago I got thinking about staying in this room tonight 
and like all of a sudden I felt like something was in my bedroom with me like I felt I don't know it felt almost like I shouldn't be excited to stay here like it almost felt like a warning like something was telling my subconscious or whatever that I shouldn't stay here tonight like I just got really freaked out for no reason out of nowhere it was really weird so yeah but I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that and kind of test out my new digital recorder and so yeah it was just kind of weird so I guess we'll see how tonight goes so this is really cool so I don't have TV I haven't had TV for like three years now three and a half um, so I was reading because I started reading it by Stephen King um, and but Shane is gonna be off in like half an hour so I decided to just like take a break from reading and turn the TV on and I was just flipping through channels and I'm like I gotta check out the travel channel just in case oh it's gonna go to commercial look Ghost Adventures is on because that's perfect for what we're doing. It's perfect that Ghost Adventures is on right now. So I should show you guys. Okay, so we're on the eighth floor of this hotel. It is a tall hotel. Um, for dinner, we're going up to the Vertex Sky Lounge. So this is like one of the tallest buildings in the city that we live in. So I thought I'd better show you the view from our room. So I'm just sitting on the bed, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty high up, like, yeah. I'm really excited to see the view from the, uh, the Sky Restaurant, because I bet it's gorgeous. So yeah, we're going to go eat there. Um, with our package, we got like a $25 dining credit to the two restaurants in this hotel. Like I said, it's a big hotel. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go eat dinner there. <laughs> I forgot, I was gonna show you guys my earrings that I wore for tonight. Oh my gosh, I'll show them. There goes. I can't remember how it's supposed to, is it that upside down? There we go. It's a ghost. But yeah, I have ghost earrings on because I thought that was just something I should do. Oh, Shayna's coming. See, she is right. Lore. Oh, I just sent her a message that says I see you. And I took a picture of her. <laughs> She's reading it. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. I didn't know if she'd get the message right away. Yep, there's Shayna. I think she's probably texting me back right now. <laughs> Hi, little Sheena. Hello. It's our improvised ice bucket. Because the other one was too small. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's a pretty incredible view. <laughs> Copy the thing, so you're gonna yeah. keep me away. Are using that? Because it's smaller than my camera. Oh. It's easier to carry. But yeah, like the way our room is like tucked away in that corner. Like I was like, oh my god, it's creepy already. Yeah, everyone's got it. <laughs> that face was great. Okay, so... Oh, I need my blankie, though. 
We're about to turn out the lights. I don't think so. Well, I'm not going to have this by your laptop, but it must not be putting it off very much because it's not. Yeah, see, right. It was reacting a little, but no, it's not going to pick it up like that. Well, yeah, mine's on silent anyway. But so we're going to turn the lights off. Get the digital recording. Well, I mean, probably get the digital recorder going first. Turn the lights off. Take some pictures. I really hope so. <sighs> Think I'm not nervous? I'm nervous because I don't want this to all be for nothing. I'm not nervous for anything to happen. I want something to happen. I'm more nervous and nothing will happen. Well, I'm nice and cozy right here. Okay. <laughs> In my bed. <laughs> but, all right. Let's see. It's okay. more comfortable. Well, I did get first pick, so. Okay. So I'm going to set. There's no laughing. There's no laughing. I'm going to set the. Both things between us, the EMF detector and the digital recorder. So will that thing make sound? This? Huh? No, it won't make sound. It was in the elevator. No, it wasn't. Uh huh. Wasn't it? No. Oh, that was the elevator? That was the elevator. So. You can shut the light off? Well, you're closest. <laughs> you want it off now? Yeah. Sure? Yes. Oh god, I'm scared. Just do it. Oh, don't you want the... Do you want the blind shut? Well, I don't know. Will that affect anything? Well, I don't know. Well, you're the pro. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, you should kind of shine that over here. Focus, yeah. focus. Okay, so it's like 740 and we just gotten up. The night was pretty... <coughs> Jeez. Sound like you're dying. Like nothing was happening. And then <coughs> I sat down the digital recorder and the K2 meter and I just was letting them roll. Where'd your light go? Whoops. <laughs> While um, we talked and I started talking about the closet and how it freaked me out and then all of a sudden this lit up and it went it went all the way to red and then it went back to like two greens so 1.5 Two, whatever and it just kind of sat there for a minute while I was well I wasn't we talking about the closet but trying again with the shades closed with the sh having them open last night maybe but yeah it just kind of lit up again so I'm going to keep my digital recorder going and see what happens so I don't know <laughs> hey guys so I really wish I had more for this Paranormal Monday video. Like, if you Google the Alex Johnson in Rapid City, South Dakota, all you will find is stories of how haunted it is. And so, I mean, I went into this lockdown with so much hope and so much excitement. And I mean, maybe that's what that feeling was I was having like maybe it was like a warning to not get my hopes up I don't know it's weird but anyway nothing happened like the only weirdish thing I can say that happened was at some point in the middle of the night I was dead asleep and at some point in the middle of the night I know I woke up I was on the bed closest to the air conditioner, so Shane was on the bed closest to the door. And we were obviously sleeping in separate beds because we didn't have anything weird happen. Okay, well, I'll go back. <laughs> but anyway, um, between our two beds, I know for a fact I wasn't dreaming, but it didn't scare me enough that I didn't, like, I just rolled back over and went to sleep. But at some point in the middle of the night, I woke up because there was this weird like electronic 
kind of screech like between our two beds and like I said it just woke me up and like I rolled over and went back to sleep but I know for a fact it happened um like I wasn't dreaming or anything like that but there wasn't anything between our two beds that should have made that noise so that and we were sitting on Shana's bed watching Big Brother on her laptop because we couldn't connect it to the TV um because we were trying to catch up on Big Brother and I remember at one point it went to commercial and I looked up at the TV in the hotel in front of the two beds and I swear to God like I saw like the outline of a head like I saw like longer hair and like a chin like but just like a shadowy face and I mean I could have uh, I could have just imagined that there was no way to prove it actually happened to document that it actually happened but those were the only two weird things that happened to me in that room and I was so unbelievably disappointed because I have talked to at least two other people that have stayed on that floor in one of those rooms, the two rooms that are supposedly haunted, and they had tons of stuff happen to them. And so it was just so disappointing. Like when I first got to the room, it felt so like creepy and eerie, but that might have just been because I was psyching myself out and I was by myself. Um, but yeah, like, after a little bit that went away and when Shana got there pff, nothing like I mean we had a blast but at the same time like I was just so unbelievably disappointed in the evidence we did not get <laughs> like at one point when I was reviewing the audio I thought I caught a woman laughing and I like freaked out and then I realized because to confirm it, of course, I watched the video that went along with the audio, and it was just a video Shana was showing me. <laughs> Swats at the other cat. And a woman was laughing on the video because it happens twice. And I mean, you can hear it in the video, but I was so disappointed. I thought I finally caught something, and <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, <sighs> in the future, we plan on staying at a couple of different haunted claimed haunted hotels and I'm really hoping next time it goes better and we catch something because like I won't lie I had a couple of moments after this day at the Alex Johnson where I was just so frustrated and sad I was like well what if none of it's real what if the paranormal doesn't exist and we wouldn't have gotten EVPs anyway like I was so mad and then I was like no Shannon, you have caught EVPs before. You've seen things. You've felt things. This was just a weird occurrence. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I will see you on Wednesday.